Hey guys, what is up? And this is Northern Box. And today is not an unboxing video or a review video or any of the normal stuff that I do. Today is a special video, sh video showing you how to make an iPod Nano 5th generation tripod. Yeah, that's right. It's very hard to find a good tripod for iPod Nanos. So a lot of people have decided to make their own. And I'm just one of those people. And I'm one of those people that's going to show you how. So this is the um, basic tripod. I'm going to take it apart in a second and show you how to build it. But first I'm going to go over like what I used. So here we have the iPod Nano 5th generation hooked into that little uh, plastic piece of plastic that comes with it. I'll go over uh, how to get that in a minute. Two rubber bands I used to hold the plastic onto this clip. And I used this fridge clip. And it's hooked to a basic flip video tripod. Um, you can get any tripod, really. Anything with just that little metal piece. They usually screw the video camera into. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Take that rubber band off. And I'm going to take the second rubber band off. And now we have the iPod Nano in that piece of plastic. So I'm going to take that out. Okay, iPod Nano, piece of plastic. And now we just have this. I'm going to go ahead and take off that uh, I was using to hold the clip on. Okay, sorry about that. So now I just have the flip video tripod. So now I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. So here we have the um, flip video tripod. But you can use any tripod. You can find them at the dollar store. It's really easy. Um, and then I'm going to take that uh, fridge clip. And I'm going to go ahead and clip the, um, it onto the metal part. The metal part that you screw the uh, normal video camera onto. I'm going to put a clip on that. Okay, so it's pretty sturdy. It stays on and everything. But it's a little... it turns a lot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some tape on there. Just going to put it on that part where the two connect. And I'm going to go around. Make sure the uh, clip is straight. Make sure it's sturdy. It's not sturdy enough, so I'm going to put another layer of tape on there. Okay, it's pretty sturdy now. So now it doesn't fall off, and it's pretty stir sturdy. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece of plastic that you get when buying your iPod Nano in the case with when you bought your iPod Nano. It's a little piece of plastic where you have to bend it back to get the iPod out. If you threw it away, I'm sure you can substitute something for it. But, um... It's really good if you use this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the iPod Nano back in the uh, case. Now you're going to have the camera looking through the piece of plastic. Trust me. It's, it, it's fine. It doesn't hurt your iPod Nano or anything. So you're going to make sure the iPod Nano is in the little engravements. So there. And you're going to have the camera looking through the piece of plastic. Now there is a fine line right there that you can't really see, but uh, it's not in the way of the camera and it'll still be fine. Don't worry. So now, maybe the hardest part is I'm going to place that right there. Hold it there. I'm going to take one of the rubber bands, put it behind the uh, little thing that holds the iPod Nano up. I'm going to put it behind that. So make sure it's right there, a little behind it. Then I'm going to put it around that. Okay, so now what, what I just did... Sorry. What I just did was I took that rubber band and I wrapped it around the back part of the clip 
and it wraps around this part of the engravement. See? Wraps around that part of the engravement. And on the bottom, it goes around the bottom of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other rubber band and do the same. And this isn't totally behind the engravement, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay. So, it's pretty level. I would say that is pretty level. So that's the iPod tripod. Um, and if you need help, just go ahead and give me a per personal message. I will reply. So now what we have is we have the camera looking through the plastic. The rubber band is not in the way. The clip is not in the way. It's a clear shot. Um, you can't really see on the, the, uh, the quality, but I'm going to go ahead and show you that it, nothing is in the way. Now, you can't really see the quality through this video camera that I'm using right now, but the quality is great. It's just normal. It's totally normal. So I would totally recommend you to do this instead of uh, spend all your money on a gorilla pod or something like that. So then again, all you need is tape, a basic tripod that you can get at the dollar store, a fridge clip, um, the, the plastic part that comes with the iPod Nano, and two rubber bands. Now you can also uh, strap this onto the clip with tape, but it takes a lot longer, and I would just recommend the rubber bands. If you need help putting the rubber bands on, um, just, again, send me a message. So I am going to show, right now I'm going to show you a little sample of, uh, just to prove that the quality really is good through the tripod. Hey guys, this is Northern Box, and right now I'm, I'm using the iPod Nano camera to prove that. Here's the flip. I'm using the iPod camera, the video camera, and it is currently looking through the plastic. Now look at that quality. You can't even tell it's looking through plastic. Like you can see there's a little bit of graininess, but it, you really can't um, even tell. So this is how like even the tripod is. And the rubber bands are totally sturdy. Right now I'm like turning it, and the rubber bands keep it pretty sturdy. So then again, here's my flip video camera. Uh, and I just... I'm really proud um, of this tripod, and I totally recommend you to um, make it yourself. And uh, so, yeah, this has been Northern Box, and have a great day. Bye.